Well, believe it or not, we're at day 14, part 14, on uh, getting Krusty put back together. Uh, yeah. Anyways, uh, absolutely beautiful day out today. Uh, gorgeous weather. I'll get the garage doors open so at least I can uh, view it from a distance what's going on out there. Uh, now, today's project, going backwards just a little bit, uh, got the parts made up. The guys uh, made them up at the shop. The reinforcement rail parts are out. So this is the new design on these uh, rail parts. I will get the old ones off. Like I said yesterday, I just didn't like how they're fitting and I want to get them pretty close to perfect on there so we got a good uh, a good system uh, for reinforcing the bottom rails on these on these Jeeps. Uh, did a few tweaks on the on the back end here also. Uh, got that all squared away. Now the next thing I'm working on is the brakes got those bled yesterday except uh, the bleeders on there they are pretty much junk. Uh, the front bleeders, I had the only way I could get it off, couldn't find the socket to fit, had to put a vice grip on, so I stopped at AutoZone and got some new bleeders. I'll try those on, switch the bleeders out, bleed the brakes one more time, and we don't talk brakes anymore forever on this vehicle here. Uh, then the next mission we're working on here is wheel studs. Uh, I just got another set of rims for it because the old rims, or the original rims here, as you saw in previous parts, they were two different uh, hub faces, hub centers, two different offsets, and they were rusty on the inside. So I said, well, we're just freaking deep into this deal here. So I just got some aluminum rims. Uh, and then switch out the tires, the new tires, onto the aluminum rims. Um, but the only problem is, the aluminum rim, they're just a little over a half inch thick. And you notice the length on these studs here. So, uh, it ordered more parts. I gotta knock the studs out and uh, drive some new studs in there. And other than that, I'll just keep pounding away at this deal and uh, bring you back when I have those frame rails reinforcements all tacked up and on there, maybe even welded on there. I think I talked to you guys enough about uh, that reinforcement kit there. Oh, and as long as I'm putting those on, the uh, fancy uh, fuel tank guard is going to go on this uh, truck hopefully tonight. So we'll see how far I get. Well, it's time to uh, start welding. Got the brackets uh, on here, and I'll get a bead all the way around here, crawl underneath there and weld. Got the fire blanket over the important stuff on uh, Old Krusty here. Got the water hose out there. Got the gloves on, and pulled the uh, leathers out of uh, retirement. Uh, bought these. Uh, Leathers uh, 42 years ago plus, and they still fit. Uh, let's see if they still do as good job as uh, getting the sparks down my arms here. So, well, uh, we'll get started and uh, weld this thing up. Well, I got her welded up. Uh, got the plate welded on there. I already painted it up, uh, cleaned her up. Biggest thing is make sure you got your surface area clean and ground, but don't ground too much because that's already thin enough. And when you weld, you got to put about a little quarter inch tacks or uh, welds at a time in there just to heat it up. Otherwise, you'll burn through there. 
and I got my fan on here so that sucked all the uh, fumes out of the way uh, didn't breathe anything at all got the inside all in there to weld it up uh, that turned out really nice now I've got all my holes in there and I'll drop my uh, bolt strip down in there and we got a solid frame again yay uh, what I used on here is my old Millermatic uh, 211 and I turned that right down to 16 gauge and I've got 023 or 024 wire in here and it's uh, called easy grind and I needed the easy grind on there because I did have some grinding to do on that outside frame well let me uh, get at her and I will get this side uh, all welded up and painted and maybe I'll get that frickin uh, tank guard on there today and maybe the back bumper we'll see well the next step is uh, putting this bolt strip in there and as always goop everything up with uh, that nasty messy uh, anti-seize uh, the future you or somebody else is going to like that so that's going to go down into the little rat hole here and it's going to line up with the bolt holes on the bottom here and these bolts the bumper and the fuel tank are going to share the same holes and I'm going to put uh, stainless steel bolts and uh, stainless steel washers in there these are steel nuts um, they're not quite as strong as the steel ones but uh, for what we're doing here uh, they're going to be just fine and they'll, uh, they'll come out easier if it is it come out well we are finally making progress on this uh, back end here uh, got the tank guard on there this is that tank guard from Barnes four-wheel drive uh, I know I said it was a little heavy uh, when we first got it uh, but once it's up there uh, the weights okay I guess I take that back uh, sorry if I dissed them about uh, their design here and their thought it'll work now uh, I've got the bracket for the uh, rough country bumper is right here it's this bracket and this bracket these are bolted in this is the bracket that uh, we made up at the shop between the bracket and that reinforcement plate is what we have as a kit at the shop it's sort of a prototype uh, if we can find a source for them that somebody actually wants to buy a batch of them we're not going to sell them one at a time but if somebody wants to buy a batch of six uh, we'll uh, we'll talk to them about that um, but putting this back plate in here I just used the top three holes with thread cutters or four holes with thread cutters um, I put a half inch stainless bolt in here this is the existing hole that was on the Jeep this one and this one and the center one uh, these two holes here are in our bracket but I just poked them through the Jeep here because this these combination of one or two of these holes I am going to make a bolted bracket to go from here to the backside the bumper because otherwise all this on this uh, rough country bumper here is two pieces of 3 16 plate there is actually very little lateral uh, support on here so if you hook at an angle you're gonna bend that uh, they got this little bracket down here uh, which is gonna help a little bit but in order to make that rough country bumper usable on the back of the Jeep with the big clevises they sent uh, you need to tie it to the center right here uh, to get more support or you're gonna be uh, tweaking that so uh, let me get the bumper up there and uh, show you what the finished uh, bumper looks like on there finally making progress well Krusty's got a nice rear end now uh, we got the back bumper on that went on nice now I feel confident that you can give this thing a yank and you're not going to uh, pull the back of the 
back of the Jeep off. So uh, that's on there. And I was talking, I wanted to reinforce the back and put a uh, plate on there. So I got this bolted in the center. Oh, there you go. I got this bolted in the center here with a half inch bolt. That's welded onto the back of the uh, bumper. So now the center is supported. We got a little bit of side load on there. Uh, everything went together good. A uh, little helpful tip. The only way that all that's going together is you need to have yourself a ream and a tap because there's a whole lot of stuff that has to happen to get all these different layers bolted together. You got to ream a few holes out, so we got that. I'll take it slow to show you. And for my reference of the next one, how this is, well, hopefully there's not a next one. But we'll see how this whole thing uh, is going to work out for us. So, anyways, uh, that's it for me tonight. Thanks for sticking around. Uh, yeah, I got another, uh, another week on this thing. And then I'm done for a while. Talk to you guys later. Thank you for watching Alan's Day. Life is about making choices. Some things are already perfect. Some things you may choose to upgrade. This channel will show you both. Please like, subscribe, and share. Thanks again.